Carly, do you think I'm going to meet Robert Irwin? I hope so, so just shut up about it. My goal is for God Given Talent to become Australia's Media Brand of the Year. And what other way to overtake our competitors by earning an exclusive interview with Robert Irwin. Kudos for the confidence to ask. But after numerous failed attempts to catch his attention, the next big idea is to venture north and visit their new resort, Crocodile Hunter Lodge, during his scheduled appearance at Australia Zoo on December 13th, my sister's birthday. Of course, I'm gonna ask Robert to sing a happy birthday so she can forgive me for missing her actual birthday. Welcome to Denzel's World. Operation failed. Should be able to. Oh. Thank you. Guys, welcome. I'm at the Crocodile Hunter Lodge right now. I'm booked to stay here one night and it's costing me $849 just for me. It costs that much because it's a two bedroom cabin for a family of four, not single guys like myself. This bed feels awfully lonely. For how much money I ended up paying for it. They said everything in the fridge is complimentary. And they told me all this here is a gift that I can take home. I'll be meeting you tomorrow. Mmm, so great cookie. This little lodge is for sure to keep you entertained. If not, then it's only a short walk from the most unique infinity pool I've ever seen with an animal enclosure backdrop. Transition to inside for dinner at the Warrior Restaurant and Bar. I did assume that it was gonna be very gimmicky considering it's attached to Australia Zoo. Like this is something people from the sunny coast can just casually come in and not feel like they're just going to an Australia Zoo restaurant, but they're just coming to a nice fine dining restaurant with very delicious creme brulee. After this positive feedback, please do go and support this establishment, making sure to mention I sent you. The Owens might consider hiring me as their marketing manager. Also subscribe if I should do more hotel reviews. So I just found the slippers. Do you like my sign? Today's been a big day, but tomorrow is the bigger day. Good night. We're gonna finally conclude this saga and get Robert to say happy birthday to Carly. I reckon if you sit this side, yeah. because they come out that way, you want him to read the sign. Of course, okay. yeah. Yes! <laughs> Yo! Ask him if the alien that I found is a blossom or what is it? I'll do my best to sneak in that. Hey. Yeah, what's up? The staff here asked me to take down my sign, mm -hmm. uh, threatened to kick me out. Oh, really? If I didn't comply, which I complied. And of course, I couldn't get Robert Irwin to sing your happy birthday. That's fine. To protect Australia Zoo's brand, I won't share any further details of the conversation I had with staff, except the fact that they gave me the contact details of the appropriate person to chat about hosting Robert on the podcast. An email was sent right away. Got an email back. For those we agree to collaborate, there are many factors to consider which are often evaluated after receiving an official proposal. Some of these aspects include audience size, engagement, other content being aligned with our mission and overall availability. I'm sorry, but we will not be able to facilitate your request at this time. In just one email, everything I worked hard for immediately became useless. And all I can say is subscribe. Help me miraculously reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 so that we can all prove Darren from marketing wrong for thinking I don't have an engaged audience. So it's at the end of the day and I was met with this very real thought coming into this experience. Everyone around me is growing up, getting married, having kids, and I'm here in the middle of it all with a dream that I just can't seem to achieve. Yet when I do achieve it, you'll all look back on this video and think, wow, I should have never given up on my dreams. Yeah, I'm over this sign.